I'm scared that a creeper is just gonna come out of nowhere and kill me. Okay. <laughs> like that. going. I hope you're having a super awesome day. I'm really excited to be jumping into episode two of my hardcore series. You guys seem to enjoy the first episode, so thank you so much for your support. I have lots of plans. I kind of did a little bit behind the scenes. Here, I'll actually show you. I did a little bit behind the scenes. As you can see, I have some dark oak signs here. So right here, it was kind of hollow in here, so I filled it out with some cobblestone, and I'm thinking I want to head up here somewhere and kind of create a waterfall, and then I want to renovate this pond area to make it like a really beautiful pond. And then right here, I'm thinking where these pillars are, I'm going to create a barn and it's gonna be for the cows. So they'll be able to go in and out of the barn if it's raining, but then also have an outdoor space, which is why I have this kind of started, but I thought I'd finish it today. I don't think I'll be doing the barn today. I just kind of wanted to like get it set up so that we could kind of get an idea of where we wanted it. I think it'll look really cool almost like it's coming out of the mountain. If you're just looking at it, you don't actually know how much space the cows have. They could have a ton of space within the mountain. So I think that's a really cool idea. I've been growing some trees over here. Oh, I also wanted to mention a lot of you guys were talking about the shaders. So some people were really saying they didn't like them. Some people were saying they loved them and really wanted to use them. And I ended up deciding that what I'm gonna do is most of the time when I'm just playing, I'm I'm not gonna use them, except I am gonna use these better leaves because I just think it, it makes it look a little bit nicer. But then when I finish builds, like what I can do is I can actually show you guys what my house looks like with shaders. I think that would be really nice. Oh, look at how nice that looks. It does look beautiful and I do really love the shaders but I don't want to use them all the time. I'll use them here and there to show the builds and whatnot, and then I'm going to turn them off. Oh, another thing I kind of did behind the scenes was I kind of gave it a little bit more texture instead of it just being all cobblestone. Also, what I was thinking is I want, do I have a shovel in my inventory? Okay, let me grab a shovel quick because I do really want to do something. Oh, and also these cows seem to, are there two of you? Oh yeah, you're just inside each other. They love using my ladder for some reason. You do you. If you want to use my ladder, you just go for it. With my shovel here, I kind of want to show you that I want to have a path going. I don't want it to be like too perfect, but I do want to have a path going from here to here. Then down to this area, I'm going to have stairs going down to the water. And then I want to have a bridge going across. So it's super easy for me to go across and then do some wood collecting and whatnot. So I thought I would do like a cute little path this way. And then I also want to have the path kind of branch off and go this way and have it go all the way over to where my cows are. I'm kind of thinking that this area here, I'm gonna have to put something as well, but I'm just not sure what yet. But over there is where the barn's gonna be. And I'll kind of have the path coming this way. And then right here, is going to be a huge farm area. See, I actually wrote it on these, garden. <laughs> right here, I also wanna do like a, a raised garden as well, where I'm gonna put like some crops here and then put some wood around it, which I think will look really pretty. Oh, it's getting dark, so I'm just gonna go quickly take a sleep. Take a sleep. Oh yeah, I made this little area too, I totally forgot. And so my plan with this too, is I wanna do like a little flower right here and then I wanna do a little lantern and then do something on here as well. Maybe put like a frame right here with like a fish in it. So it kind of looks like a plate and then maybe like another lantern there or a flower there. I have so many plants. <laughs> Oh yeah, I also organized all this. Sorry, I've done a little, like I've done the boring behind the scenes stuff. It's like not, you guys aren't missing anything. So I decided to go with dark oak because right now I do have a surplus and I do want to give my cows like a lots of space. 26, okay, so let's go build that and then we'll bring our cows over to their new home. Kind of am struggling to know how I want to do the fencing. It's a little bit awkward, but I'm kind of thinking we come out this way. I want it to almost be like it leads to a larger area. I don't want it to just be like a square, you know? I want to give them like a nice place where they can really walk around and enjoy their caged life. 
<laughs> Plus, I want to have lots of space so I can get lots of cows so that I can do all the things that I need to get done in this series. There is the space for our cows. And then let's go get the cows and show them their new home. I think that they're really going to like it. So come on, cows. Come on. Seriously? I don't want to hurt them. There we go. There we go. Come on. This way. This way. Come on, guys. One at a time. One at a time. Guys, one at a time. Okay, quickly. Now that that one's distracted. Come on, cow. Quickly. Come on. Oh, is it because of the door? Okay, come on, cows. Let's go this way. Good cows. Okay, we're going to make babies, but first let me close this. There, good job, cows. Oh, look at the little baby cow. Hi, baby cow. Okay, bye-bye. Enjoy your new home. I really hope you guys like it. Okay, and then another thing that I want to do is I kind of want to have the path go this way as well. Kind of around the house, like so. And then it can- Ooh! Okay, oh, yep. Um, rude. I do have to clear it out a little bit, but then I can have this whole area lead around here to the back door and then also lead over here, which I think eventually will build something over here. I'm just not really sure what. Oh, I need to make a bucket because I want to get started on my garden. It's not going to really be complete today because I don't really have enough wheat and seeds and whatnot to cook to create. I hate that it does this. Why does it do this? Okay, just yeah, no. What? Why is it doing this? I, d I really don't get it. Oh my gosh. I don't know why that's happening. It drives me crazy though. Okay, I don't want it to interrupt the path. So unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to go all the way. I might, I might bring this back a little bit. And then we put the block there, or put the water there. So this is where we'll ha have our garden start. This will also have water. And what I do is I let it flow like that. So then when I'm harvesting, if any of the harvest ends up landing in the water, it goes to this side and then I can pick it all up at the end here, which I think is a great strategy. I actually used that in my 100 days and I really enjoyed it. So there we go. That can be the beginnings of our wheat farm. I need some more food. So over here we have some food. Oof, actually we don't. Let's just go get some food and then what we're gonna do is overnight we're gonna try to find some diamonds. Oh yeah, I have a new skin on. I think it looks so cute. Uh, I guess I should remove. Oh, I can't right now. Okay, we'll look at it after. I actually asked people on my Discord if they wanted to make me some skins and I'm kind of giving them all a test drive to see which ones I like the best. And then I think I'm gonna try to pick one that's gonna be my main skin and then maybe we can give it different outfits and stuff. But I do wanna come up with like a skin that I almost stick to so that people are like, oh, that's Super McGregor's skin. If you guys want to try and participate in helping me pick a skin or make a skin, then uh, send it over to me on any social media. You can join my Discord and send it to me there in my in my fan art channel, or you can DM it to me on any social media is fine as well. I think I'm ready to do some mining. Once I get down there, I'm gonna have to make a pickaxe. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. Okay, so I kind of organized down here a little bit behind the scenes as well. Look, I got all these torches all lined up pretty, which <laughs> they were looking terrible last episode. And then I have this area. So this goes up, it comes down like this, and we have this way, which has had the silver fish. So we're just not gonna go that way until we're a bit more prepared. And then we have the stairs kind of going down this way, which there was a cave there, which I'm thinking I might go check out in this episode or next episode, because I am feeling much more prepared. But for today, we're gonna go the safe route because it already is going all the way down to level 12 and we can get hopefully some diamonds. I've kind of done a little bit of digging down here, mostly just for like kind of setting it up to make it look nice. We could kind of dig this area out here and put in one of these. And then once we have some cobblestone, we can put a furnace right there and then we kind of have it down here. I think that'd be kind of nice. Very exciting. So let's hopefully find some diamonds. I'm also at level 11, which is why I'm going three high. I just kind of think that that it it's kind of smart to do it that way. But if you guys disagree, let me know. Lava pops. Gosh, I kind of want to go towards the lava. 
It sounds so close. <gasps> okay, we found some lava. This is amazing. Let's do this. And then we can go explore a little bit. <gasps> There's some iron. Amazing. Okay, let's light up this area a bit. Okay, it's not the biggest area, but at least we found some iron, which is super amazing. Come on. Oh, gosh. I kind of want to get rid of all the lava just to get rid of the sound so I don't end up kind of making my way in here again. But keep this area lit up so that things aren't spawning in here. I think that should be good. And then we can kind of just block this area off with some cobblestone. And then we can keep moving. <gasps> I just heard a bat. Okay, and there's splashing. I'm gonna see. <gasps> a zombie. Okay, this is kind of good. We need... <gasps> okay, there's the water. Okay, that's fine. Okay, maybe what I'll do is see if I can kind of go in from up. Okay, it does seem like it's above a little bit. Okay, there we go. There's water there. I just don't know where this zombie is, so it makes me a bit nervous. <gasps> it's so dark. Okay, there's the zombie. It's fine. We are fine. I'm going to kill him. <gasps> okay, wait. This is a really big cave system. <gasps> okay. Shoot. <sighs> okay, we're fine. First, let's go like- <gasps> Shoot! It's fine. What I'm gonna do quickly is just kind of block this area off. And then I'm gonna get this. Is... <gasps> no! Oh my god. No way. Okay. I just need to eat. <laughs> I almost just died! Let's just head back down here. Okay, I, I feel like we need more food. Darn! At least we found a cave. We know we can explore it. We just need to be smart about it. I don't want to die. <laughs> Thought I was prepared for this episode. But apparently not. I didn't get enough food. Is this is a beautiful- <gasps> Horsies. I want some horsies. Okay. Once we find a saddle, we'll get a horse. It would be great if we could find some more animals. Whoa! <gasps> I need some feather falling. That's another thing. As soon as we find some diamonds, we can get an enchantment table going. <gasps> pumpkins! Yay! We don't have pumpkins yet. <gasps> Look! I think I just found a village. <gasps> okay, I think I see a roof over there. It's getting dark. Hopefully this really is a village. I cannot be out at night. <gasps> Yay! Okay, I'm so excited. Wow. Okay, let's super quick. Oh, wow. I need to eat too. Let's super quick find a bed, sleep, and then we'll explore the village. Okay, this was not part of the plan today. Uh, but hey, we needed some food and this is just a bonus. I'm super excited about this. Yes, thank you, thank you. Oh no, okay, wait, I have to get rid of some stuff. Gosh, I wasn't really prepared for this. My pockets are so full, but you know what? It's fine because this is what we needed because now I can come here and steal some villagers. Although I usually like to try to get villagers that are close to the water so I can use boats to steal them. So darn, because this is not near the water. I might need to figure out a plan B. Oh, I have so much stuff. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna leave it in here. I also can get leave that. Ooh, we got some potatoes now, so we can grow some potatoes. That's amazing. Okay, this is awesome. Oh, I love exploring villages. <gasps> a dog. You guys, I want a dog so bad. I don't have any bones on me. <laughs> oh, and you know what else too? They have two bells. I need to steal one of them. <gasps> and this, I want to steal all this so I can build with it. I also kind of want to steal this thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back to this village. <gasps> yes. I'm definitely gonna have to come back here. Oh, hi little baby villager. This is amazing. <gasps> They're near the water. Wow, they're near like a ravine thing too. Okay, we're heading back. Why are there so many floating islands in this spawn? I don't know. But how exciting. Yeah, see this water could lead out to the ocean, which would be super handy 
to get the villagers. So we'll see. Okay, yeah, so we have lots of food now. Ooh, wow, 19 beef, that's good. Now we can go and do some real mining. Okay, maybe we should go do our potatoes while we're waiting too. Okay, there, now we have some potatoes growing. Let's go inside and sleep because it is dark and I'm scared. Oh, another thing, now that I don't have any cows in my house, I wanna do a little pressure plate near the door because it just makes my life a lot easier. We can do one here and one here. Amazing, I'm not gonna do them outside because then the bad guys can get in, you know? We don't want that. I'm just gonna always have bones in my inventory until the day that I find a dog. Let's make a pickaxe. I want to check out this area, but I need to be very, very careful. I almost died from a creeper and that just can't happen. So we need to just be super duper careful. Okay, so first of all, let's try to light up this area as quickly as we can. Okay, that area is lit up. Some gold here, which is amazing. Okay, <gasps> there's a creeper over there. That's fine though, because we- <gasps> Oh look, there's more ores. <laughs> oh god, that scared me. That scared me so much. He just came out of nowhere, it felt like. Okay, they're just coming out of nowhere. This is pretty dangerous. <gasps> okay, there's another one. It's fine. I'm fine. What I'm gonna do is be super duper careful, but I'm gonna grab some... Oh, there's iron, but it's like far. <gasps> there's tons of iron right there. I really need iron! Okay, you know what? We know it's there. I don't want to grab it right now. It's just not safe. It's dangerous. <gasps> oh no. Let's go back in here. Was there anything? Okay, we just- <gasps> Where did that come from? I don't even know. Okay. I'm scared that a creeper is just gonna come out of nowhere and kill me. Okay, <laughs> like that. Okay, yep, I'm out, I'm out. I'm just gonna grab this iron. I didn't even notice this before. And then I'm out, I'm out after this cause it's too dangerous. Hopefully we don't run into any silverfish. Although I am feeling like I will be able to take them on with a sword. I know that the ax deals more damage, but the sword, you're able to use it at a faster pace. So I think when you have a couple little tiny mobs coming at you, it's a lot easier to get them with a sword than it is an ax. Okay. <gasps> okay, this is, this is it guys, this is it. Yeah, no, no worries. Okay, it's it called out more. I know that these guys, when you kill them, they send out more. They send out like backup. <gasps> Look at it. Wow, they, they did that. That's so crazy. Yeah, they're showing up everywhere right now. Okay, guys, go away. Did they? Oh, wow, there's another one. Oh my gosh. They might be dropping in from behind me. That's the only thing. Okay, they're not that scary. They do send for backup, which is a little scary, but they're kind of slow. They're not so scary. I need to just stay calm. Okay, there's lava pops coming from this way. <gasps> yes. All right, guys, let's go check this out. <gasps> Yay! We found diamonds. Okay, I'm so happy. Yay! I just need to be extra careful. Is this part of a ravine? <gasps> it's not. Okay, these are actually the type of tunnels I wanted to find, not a ravine. Please let there be more. Please don't let that be it. Maybe above. What? That's it? That's all you're gonna give us is one? How rude. Look at how much iron we have in here. This is amazing. Okay, this was a good find. I'm happy. Happy about it. Okay, I just need to be careful because lava. <laughs> I feel like when you find diamonds in Minecraft, it's like gambling. It's it's such a an exciting feeling that you're like, okay, time to find more. <laughs> While we're in here, I'm just gonna start smelting a little bit. We might as well. Let's actually go explore this area a little bit while we wait for this to smelt. Can somebody please tell me, do swamps have more diamonds? Is that a thing? Because I've heard that the possibility of finding diamonds in... Ooh, look at what we found. Look, 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 look. Okay, and then it even goes out there a bit. Okay, amazing. I'm so glad I kept going. 
I heard that diamonds are more common in swamps. <gasps> Guys, look! Look! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's go get some more diamonds. Wow, I'm so excited. This is so great. Okay, I'm a little nervous. <gasps> look at that. Okay, let's just light up the area super quick. Oh gosh, I'm out of, I'm out, I'm out. Okay, wait, before I do any of that, okay, I, I know that you guys probably want me to go grab that, but just give me a sec. I need to feel safe. I'm gonna just come back here. I'm gonna grab half of this. I'm gonna make some more torches. Let's go get some diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. Okay, I'm so excited. <laughs> Can you guys tell? <laughs> Let's just go light up this area so I feel more safe because we don't want things spawning. <gasps> more iron. Oh my gosh, this is a great cave system that we just found. <gasps> yes. Okay, we've got lots of iron. Wow. Okay, let's see how many we get. Okay. Okay, it seems like we're gonna get one. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Okay, that's pretty decent. That's my way of finding caves, by the way. I do some strip mining and then I use the subtitles that are down at the bottom right corner to find which direction to dig towards. Like if I hear a bat or I hear a zombie or a skeleton or lava or water, it usually means a cave. So then I'll use the, the direction uh, of the subtitles to find my way. Another trick that I do when collecting obsidian, and then I do this. I'm gonna make a diamond pickaxe. So if it is lava, it'll get put out right away, and then I don't lose the obsidian. <gasps> Maybe we'll have to dig out the basement in the next episode, and then that's where we'll put our enchantment table. We can already make it. We don't even have to leave anywhere. Okay, I'm making it. Yay! We have an enchantment, enchantment table already, you guys. This is so exciting. Okay, we have 26 iron plus 35 iron ores. Gosh, we're off to an amazing start. I'm so excited. Okay, so let's put all this stuff away. And what I want to do is I want to build my staircase now. <gasps> Another thing that I just thought of is we should make this into a waterfall as well. Wouldn't that be beautiful? So what I'm thinking is we kind of just start up here. We'll kind of have everything like this, switch between different types. Oh shoot, I need to get some mossy cobblestone, which I got mossy cobblestone from the giant taiga that's nearby. So that is something that we actually are able to collect, which is amazing. So that will, I think, add a lot. I want it to just go straight down this way. I have completed the staircase down, which I think looks so cute. I honestly am really proud of myself. From here, you can kind of see, I am gonna put lanterns all the way down, but for now, I don't wanna waste too much of my iron on it. As you go down, it's beautiful. It's all texturized, so it's lots of different kinds of stone, which I think looks amazing. And then I'm thinking, I'm gonna have a bridge going across to this side. I can have the bridge go straight across here and then have stairs going up like this and then maybe have an area over here. But for now, this is all I'm gonna do. I think it looks really good. I don't wanna go too far over there because I do see that there's some bad baddies over there. So I need to be careful. And since I have a ton of stone left over, I'm gonna do the fireplace really quick. There, that looks so nice, doesn't it? I feel like this could look better, but my house is a bit small. <laughs> so it kind of has to be a small fireplace, you know? Um, but I think it looks nice. I think it looks okay. If you guys have any tips to make it look nicer, that would be appreciated. Does that look better? Gives it a bit more depth. And then we can have this one go like that as well. Let's see how that looks. Okay. It does make it look a tiny bit more grand, which I think is nice. It's not the best. Like I've definitely made better fireplaces than this. 
It'll do for now, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, I wanted to explore a little bit on the boat. I'm not gonna go too far. It's gonna be just like a leisurely boat ride. It's not gonna be anything too crazy. We're just gonna check out the area a little bit. We haven't ventured that far. Let's start by going this way. Let's see what we can find. I'm super excited. I hope it's not just a dead end because I'll be pretty bummed. Oh my gosh, just as I say that. Okay, but sometimes it's not actually a dead end and all you have to do is dig. Okay, so we are going to dig out this area a bit. I think this area needs to be a bit wider. And then I think we're gonna be able to travel through now. Yeah, it's a little bit tight, but that's fine. We still make it. Ooh, beautiful taiga. Ooh, let's just super quickly grab some of this because I love building with mossy cobblestone. And I'm also going to grab this. This is so fun. Okay, oh, another dead end. What a bummer. Okay, and it doesn't seem like this dead end leads anywhere. So that's fine. We'll go venture and see what the other side has to offer. Look at our stairs. They look awesome. Okay, you know what? There's a spot right there I need to fix. But besides that, that looks so cool. And once it has torches all the way down, oh my gosh, I love it. All right, let's see what's this way. I really hope it leads to the ocean. That would be just so convenient. Oh no. Okay, it does seem like it could lead to this water. Oh no, I was hoping that it would lead to an ocean. Oh no, that kind of sucks. We'll just have to figure out a different way to get some villagers. Uh, I think we're gonna end up having to use rails to get the villagers home, which is gonna be quite difficult. I've never done it before. I think I am going to finish up this episode here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please, if you guys have any tips or tricks for what I should do in future episodes, or things that I could just be doing better, please let me know. If you guys wanna see more episodes like this, then make sure you super slap that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up and hit the bell so that you don't miss any future videos. I do wanna give a quick shout out to my super supporters. You guys are amazing. You allow me to continue to create content for you and everyone else and I appreciate you very, very much. And if anybody else is interested in becoming a super supporter, then definitely make sure to click that join button and find out about all the perks that come along with being a super supporter. Also, if you guys wanna make me a skin, oh yeah, I totally forgot to show you guys my skin. So here's the skin I'm testing out. It looks super cute, I really, really like it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you in the next one.